Here's why I bought Casper. Reason number one, it is because I believe that the Casper network is an amazing layer one blockchain. Casper is an enterprise optimized, scalable and future proof blockchain that allows for upgradable smart contracts and NFTs. And by the way, Casper is the first blockchain out there to actually solve the blockchain trilemma. Many blockchains out there have decentralization, many out there have scalability and security. However, they don't have all three. Casper is the only one out there that is able to provide decentralization, scalability and security all at the same time. Casper is extremely revolutionary. And Casper is very different from your stereotypical layer one blockchain. Typically layer one blockchains out there have fundamental compromises, they have complex codes, they have unsustainable fees, and on top of that, they have archaic and static tooling. However, Casper is very different. Casper can scale without sacrifice, it's low risk and easy to use, it has sustainable costs, and it's future proof as well. The way I take a look at Casper is that it is the new age of layer one blockchains. It is simply different from the rest. When people think about the best layer one blockchain out there, they usually think about Ethereum. However, Ethereum Ethereum isn't scalable. Yes, Ethereum is not proof of stake, but it still isn't scalable like Casper. Casper, fundamentally speaking, is a whole lot better than Ethereum. In fact, Charles Hoskinson, who is the co-founder of Ethereum and the founder of Cardano, predicts that it's going to take another four to five years before Ethereum can even become scalable. And that's just way too long, in my opinion. Ethereum may be big right now, but it still can't escape its scalability problems. Casper is already proof of stake and it's already scalable. Quite essentially, it could be said how Casper is basically Ethereum 3.0. And also, Despite just launching its mainnet back in 2021, Casper has already been able to surpass over 100,000 holders. Despite its young age, Casper has still been able to grow by a lot already. And Casper is just getting started. Casper will soon launch Casper 2.0 and with this upgrade, Casper will allow for a new and improved consensus mechanism and will also allow for unified accounts and unified contracts. With Casper 2.0, it will also allow for an open validator model. And all of this is just the beginning. Casper may be fundamentally amazing right now, but in the future, it will will be even better. It is just a matter of time. Casper hasn't even reached its true potential yet. Reason number two, Casper has a lot of room to grow. As of right now, Casper is sitting at around three and a half cents. If Casper were to reach the price of a dollar, it would be around a 27x from here. And that's absolutely insane. If anything, this shows how extremely undervalued Casper is right now. And while reaching a dollar may generate good gains, I still think Casper sitting at a dollar is not its true peak. And the reason why I say that is because if Casper were to reach the price of a dollar, it would only have a market cap of around $10 billion. And this is of course considering its current circulating supply. And I think 10 billion is too low for Casper because a $10 billion market cap isn't even 25% of Shiba Inu's all-time high market cap. And Shiba Inu's a meme coin. It has nowhere near the use case of Casper. So Casper sitting at a dollar really isn't even scratching the surface of its true potential. I believe that in the future, Casper can easily reach the price of $5 and reach a market cap of over $53 billion, which by the way is a 138x from here. I truly do believe that will happen one day. And the reason why I think that will happen is because Casper is too fundamentally amazing for it not to reach that price in the future. I mean, if we take a look at Solana, for example, Solana at its peak was able to reach a market cap of over $78 billion, and Solana has nowhere near the fundamentals of Casper. First of all, Solana doesn't allow for upgradable smart contracts and NFTs, while on the other hand, Casper does. And also on top of that, Solana is prone to network outage problems. In fact, in the past year alone, Solana has suffered eight different network outages. The Solana network is extremely unreliable. And now I will say that yes, Solana does share some similar traits with Casper, for example, like being fully permissionless and being developer friendly. However, when we are talking about the overall package, so to speak, Casper is just a whole lot better than Solana. So if Solana can reach a 78 plus billion dollar market cap, why can't Casper with its amazing fundamentals at least reach 53 billion? If anything, I think a 53 billion dollar market cap for Casper is actually very realistic. Casper not only has a lot of room to grow, but it also has amazing features as well. And I think that's what truly sets Casper apart and just makes it so unique. Reason number three, Casper is focused on enterprise adoption. And I know some people might be thinking, who cares about enterprise adoption? However, that is actually where all the potential is at. Because if we take a look at this, it says how the global blockchain technology market is projected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 85.9%. 
reaching more than $1.4 trillion by 2030. And all of this growth is largely driven by enterprise adoption. In fact, as of right now, 94% of Fortune 500 executives have begun planning blockchain initiatives. And also on top of that, 89% of Fortune 500 executives believe that the next 10 years of Web3 innovation will define the next 100 years of business. However, what's even more shocking is how 75% of global executives fear a loss of competitive advantage if they don't adopt blockchain technology. So clearly the future of blockchain technology is massive and it's going to be driven by enterprises. If you truly think about it, enterprises have the most capital, they have the most resources, and they have the volume to facilitate growth at a much larger scale. So in my opinion, if a layer one blockchain truly wants to experience massive growth in the future, it first has to be enterprise optimized, which Casper of course is. Casper isn't focused on the retail market, it's not focused on fans, it's not focused on getting hype, it's not focused on any of that nonsense whatsoever. It's actually focused on being you used by large scale businesses. And I think because of this, it will allow Casper to have such tremendous longevity. Reason number four, Casper has an amazing staking ratio. If we take a look at this chart comparing the staking ratio between top blockchains, you will see that Casper is sitting at number three, and that is completely insane. Because when people usually think about top blockchains, they typically don't think about Casper. But in reality, Casper has a higher staking ratio than Cardano, Avalanche, Polkadot, Phantom, Near, and Polygon. And that is very impressive right there. You know, if you told a Cardano fanboy that Casper has a higher staking ratio than Cardano, they wouldn't believe it. They'd be like, oh what, no way, that's not true. But in reality, it is true, and Casper is just that fantastic. That is how spectacular Casper is. Overall, when it comes to Casper, when I consider its staking ratio, when I consider how it's low in price, when I consider how amazing it is fundamentally speaking, when I take all of that into account, I think it is a no-brainer for me to actually buy Casper. And that is why I keep buying Casper. I believe Casper is so special, and I think that during the next bull run, Casper is going to shock a lot of people. Make sure to subscribe and see mash that like button for the latest and greatest Casper news and content. It's been Lee the Captain, and I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.